Hello everyone and welcome back to another Alliance Review Spot video and today we're doing a review on a manga book that I had just completed reading and I realized that you guys were not able to actually watch the fortune cookie um, holiday extravaganza and I apologize but I found out that it's because there is the anime that I was reviewing has music that belongs to some band in South Korea and they are not allowing me to keep it in the video so unless they actually allow me to um, <clears throat> let them monetize on my video and you know let it basically allow anybody to watch it then that would be kind of nice, but because nobody can watch it, I have canceled the giveaway for that video, and I'm pretty sure there's only been like a couple of views on it, so I think it's kind of funny. But anyways, I don't even remember what was in that episode really, other than just me acting silly and goofy with fortune cookies. I don't think I particularly pulled anything amazing. I don't even think I opened up cards. I had a dollar bill that was signed by all of the band members in Nightwish. And I actually went to see them in concert. It was either last year or the year before. I can't really remember. But it was really exciting and fun. And they're actually coming back in March. And if I can save up some money to go, I'm going to try my best to go. But I thought in the background for today that it would be kind of nice to show you guys some of the books that I currently have for sale and trade since we're reviewing a book anyways. And right now that's all I have listed. But I do have more books that I will be adding. And this one right here will be one of them. This is the manga book that I'm reviewing today. It is called Sweetness and Lightning. I got it in a loot anime. And it's by Gido Amagakure. Kura. Kure. But anyways, just a simple little overview here. It says, a recipe for family. Having lost his wife, math teacher Kohei Inuzuka is doing his best to raise his young daughter, Tsumugi. As a single father, he's pretty bad at cooking and doesn't have a huge appetite to begin with, but Chance brings his little family with one of his students, Kotori Ida, together for homemade adventures. With the with those three cooks in the kitchen, it's no wonder this dinner table drama is so delicious. And then you have like two comments here about the book itself. So, oh, that magazine, I actually used to subscribe to that. They sometimes would have like posters and stuff, but they would always have like some anime reviews, manga reviews, etc. But I'm going to get right into this. This book, okay, so this is Samugi. Um, let me rephrase that. Sumugi. This is Kohei and Katori. So I'm going to start with going over the storyline. The storyline is kind of interesting, but also seems unrealistic in a way, until I read about what the Japanese culture is like. So in Japan, it's normal for teachers to hang out with students outside of class, which is kind of not really normal apparently in America because too many people hold bad stigmas against it. But I'm sure that that's not the case in every single case. But... <clears throat> They are viewed as a good role model for students, and I think that's how it should be looked at. Because just because one thing happens doesn't mean like it's the same for every specific incident <laughs> or instance, I should say. So we follow the family Kohei, who had lost his wife, and this is his daughter, Smoogie. And they struggle because. Well, obviously, as stated, Kohei doesn't really cook a lot. He doesn't really eat a lot. But his daughter loves food. That's like her main thing that makes her happy. And when she tastes really good food, it just makes her so happy. And Kohei notices this, especially when they start cooking with Katori. Well, one day, the father decides he's going to take his daughter out to a restaurant. Hey, now. Don't she be grabbing me? Mr. Cheshire. He was trying to attack me. But anyway, so... <clears throat> they go to a restaurant, which was owned by Katori's mother. 
and she was out, but Katori invites them in anyways and cooks for them. So the daughter loves it and wants to start eating with Katori more often as the story progresses. And Kohei was invited to Katori's house by the mother but whenever he gets there the mother's not there she's always away for work or that is what Katori says and then <clears throat> when he realized she was gone he was gonna leave but then Katori was like no please you know I don't want to be alone I want to you know cook some food together and eat together so I think the story is interesting and unique, but it's not like the best story that I've read. But this is only manga book one. So based on the story that I know from manga book one, I gave it a 6 out of 10 because I was kind of expecting a little bit more to come out of it. I would have liked to have known how the mother died, maybe um, why the mother is always gone. But I understand that it's probably just kind of spreading this detail out and I might be expecting a little bit too much in manga volume one. But... For me, I'm probably not going to get Volume 2, and it's definitely going to go up for sale and trade eventually. So, I don't know. It's just not for me. Two was character development. The characters were relatable, and they do grow as the story progresses. Smoogie is energetic and loves making friends, and Katori, who was once alone, now has people to communicate with more. Because her mom's always gone and now cooking with Kohei and Smoogie, she becomes more happy. And I think she feels less lonely. Almost like she's found a purpose to be. And Kohei is kind of growing too because he's learning how to cook for his daughter. Because Katori is offering that help. So I think it's relatable in a sense that when characters or even people help each other we help each other grow in the way that we need to grow and you will hear a lot where friends of friends or just people in general say that they make friends with people that they want to learn from and try to be like so I gave that an 8 out of 10 and then we move on to let's see <clears throat> The theme. So the theme is going to be pretty much just to this one manga book. So I can't really say much about it. But from what I've seen from this, it's kind of like people are only as lonely as they make themselves. So Kohei wouldn't go anywhere until they started cooking together because he had a busy schedule and he chose just not to do anything else. He needed, you know, he had certain things that he wanted or needed to do. And he chose not to do other things or go out very often. And I guess as, you know, being a teacher, that would be, I guess, normal. Because, you know, a lot of teachers have stacks and stacks of paperwork to have to complete. But Katori would not hang out with friends and would be lonely because her mother wasn't there. But, you know, when she starts cooking with them, she is communicating with people more and she's helping them and she's also helping herself not be so lonely. So I gave it a 7 out of 10 because I wasn't really sure where the entire series is going, obviously. But then the story, the setting, it takes place in a Japanese town and a school. That's pretty much all that I remember. You know, I could have missed something. But it definitely has Japanese culture behind it to support that. The school outfits, the food, the culture. It just kind of definitely fits that Japanese culture that is being presented. So I would say that it's real and relatable. But because I don't remember or I don't know if it even stated the exact city. Right now all I see is just a little Japanese town with people that, you know, eat and have certain culture holidays and vacations that they celebrate together and there's a decent amount of places that we see we see the school we see Tori's mom's restaurant their house Kohei's house um, the uh, Smoogie's school so just a lot of different places so it was pretty colorful in that area and 8 out of 10 is what I gave that so the artwork, honestly, this artwork reminds me of an old style with a modern style mixed together. There's a lot of detail in the actual colors here, and they're kind of like watercolors. So it's really 
kind of attractive to the eye. I thought the style was one of the best things, the artistic style, was one of the best things that this manga held. Because even if you open it up and you take a look, this does resemble the old style manga. Of course, if you don't read manga, you're probably not going to see that, but it definitely does with just the style of the eyes and the detail and stuff. And with the artwork, the main thing that makes it so amazing is it's very strong with the expression within the book. So I gave that a 9 out of 10. And then I went to the title. So sweetness and lightning. Sweetness could represent the food and the girls who are kind hearted and sweet and just like the overall caring aspect that these people provided to each other. And then they would think about people over their self. The lightning part confuses me a little bit, but I have a feeling that that will be explained later, and that's probably why I don't understand it. But there could be significance in it that could be very, you know, just amazing, which maybe I'll regret not buying the rest of it, because I still do want to know what happens to the mom. So if anybody goes and buys this series and reads it, let me know if you find out what happens. But lightning is unpredictable and loud. And I'm thinking is like it's beauty, but it can also be tragic. So I'm thinking that maybe it relates to the unpredictableness of the storyline. And maybe that that one thing that's not been revealed yet, you know, maybe that's gonna just be unpredictably put out there. I don't really know, but I gave that a 7 out of 10 because we don't know much. So then I went to the um, techniques. So I thought it was comical, so it can be funny at times and it uplifts, it uplifts your mood. But tragedy too because Smoogie's mom died when she, while she was young, so she doesn't probably really remember a whole lot other than the food, which is I think why that's such an important aspect to this manga book. And then we have art. The art, like I said, amazing. Definitely expresses feeling, expression, and it does it so well that you feel relatable to the character in that aspect, too. So, there's also irony, because Kohei eats at the restaurant with Smoogie, but doesn't even realize that Katori is his student until later. So, that can kind of show you, when you have a lot of students and you're having to memorize a lot of names or something, that, that can get kind of confusing at times. I'm sure it can. I remember college and like there'd be like, I don't know, 50 students in a class sometimes. I mean, imagine having like six or not six, it's a little much, like maybe four classes a day with 50 students and trying to remember 200 students' names. Like that'd be crazy. So the book cover, I thought that was adorable. One of the Another one of the best things of the book, in my opinion, which goes along with the art. It makes the book look inviting, and the colors and the food and expression make the book look intriguing. And I think it invokes happiness. So, um, all in all, I gave that a 10 out of 10, because even the back cover has some unique artwork. Like, this here reminds me of an older style anime with the color and the way that she's drawn. And then you have the quotes and that. I think that fits the story pretty well with the explanation. So I think it also invokes mystery. So there I gave it a 10 out of 10, which was the only part that had a 10 out of 10. And then finally, I was going... Oh, whoops, I forgot the reread value. So to me, the reread value of Manga 1 is low. It's okay, and I think that it would be a good read, but... To me, it's a good one-time read. And I love cooking, so, I mean, that part was kind of appealing to me. But it's still just not something that I would pick up and be like, Oh my gosh, I have to read volume two. Oh my gosh, I have to reread this later. No, it's not really that for me. So I gave that a 5 out of 10. Now, we finally go to the filler. If you have seen any anime and manga, you know that sometimes there is filler. And sometimes it can be so annoying. But... In this particular manga book, the only filler that I found, and this is a possibility because it may be kind of important too, but um, the small part is celebrating what they call Golden Week, which is where they um, 
get together for that part of the week and they celebrate and they kind of are given that week off in Japan and that's where they go on vacation spend time together all that stuff and Katori's mom is at home so they end up making food on this day so really the main thing that we gain from this chapter is that Katori's mom is very busy, doesn't get to spend time with her, which we already knew, so it doesn't really add anything. And then we also see that there's a lot of um, busy work that Kohei has, because this is like one of the only times that you see in the manga that they go out and actually do something other than just going to eat. And they were supposed to go picnic, but it was raining, so I gave that an 8 out of 10. So all in all, that gave the average rating of this book a 6.8 out of 10, which is not, you know, too horrible, but it's not too good either. I feel like your better rated books are probably like a 7 and higher, which 6.8 is really close. So to somebody else, this book might, you know, be really up your alley. I have no idea, but for me, not so. So this will probably be in the trade and sell pile soon. So now I'm going to read a little excerpt pages are color. Now this particular manga book is a Loot Crate exclusive so I do not know if this is in the other one as far as like the color but here we go. Beep beep beep. Morning daddy. It's morning huh. Hey Smoogie you're stepping on the handouts huh. Don't move. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Awesome artwork, as you can see, called Uniforms and Donabe Rice. Okay, smack. Daddy, can I watch Magi Gal? Sure, sure. Watch it while you eat breakfast. Yes, sir. Looks like your remark was off the mark. <laughs> Ding. Frozen at my. Fried chicken and jelly. I gotta buy cherry tomatoes. Daddy, I can't find my pink Magi Gal outfit. Hold on a second. It's not done yet. Aw. Oh no, our nation is doomed. We have your yellow Magi Gal t-shirt though. Yellow Magi Gal is strong too, right? Sunday is going to be laundry day. Okay. Eee. Rush. Hach -ach -aka. Daddy, I'm stuck. Rush, undo the buttons before you put it on. Goodbye. Oh, that's a picture of their mom. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The sitter will be here soon. Be here to pick her up at four, so she'll be staying late today then. Bye bye. Good morning. Good morning. Inu Zuka Sensei. So you are coming to the welcome slash goodbye party. You can bring the kid. Oh, sorry. I'm going to skip it after all. Uh, that's a shame. He kind of has to. His daughter's still, you know, and it's a bar. Look how thin he's getting, though. I think he needs to fill that belly of his. Moyo, Momoya sensei, that's really none of your business. Don't worry about me. I've never been a big eater. I've also tried cooking once, but it caused my daughter to make a face I'd never seen before. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Lately, even the convenient store box lunches have the right amount of calories and nutrition. Yeah, it's a big help. I think we will stop right there, but as you can tell, it's kind of lighthearted and comic. But until next time, happy treasure hunting, and you guys have a great week. Oh yeah, you want me? Wasala wanna be no.